So Hey, sugar! Come on in here, honey. We making pork neck bones today. We're going to clean them with this apple cider vinegar and water. Just like that. And then we're going to take that cartilage out of that bone. You see that? Take that out. Going to make your broth yucky. After we clean them, we're going to season these bones. With some saison, honey. We got some seasoning salt right here, honey. We also got some salt-free seasoning. We're going to put a little onion powder on these bones. Got some garlic powder. Then we're going to put a little chicken bouillon on there. That's going to help season your broth. After that, you're going to mix it in together. Mix it on in, just like that. Mix it in, won't get all the bone seasoning. I'm going to rinse my hands off because I'm going to go right back in with the same seasoning. Season the salt, saison, onion powder, garlic powder, salt-free seasoning, and then some chicken bouillon. Yes, honey. Now we're going to mix it up again. Use your hands, child. I'm cooking for my family. And then, after that, we're going to take this cast iron pot and we're going to put them neck bones in there. Now, if you ain't got a cast iron pot, a regular pot is fine too, child. Honey, my mama used to make a big old pot of neck bones, green beans, and potatoes. Yes, bring back memories. We're going to rinse our hands off here. After that, you want to put your pot in the sink and then fill it up with water. Cover your bones with water, just like that. And then after that, I cut up two stalks of celery, a onion, and a whole bell pepper. And we're going to put that in there, child, and we're going to mix that on in with them bones, child. After that, child, we're going to put a little apple cider vinegar in here. Yes, just like that. And then, child, once it starts boiling, you want to start skimming your broth. Skimmy your broth, because we're going to use this broth for a gravy. After your neck bones are done, you want to add a quarter cup of butter in there, child. Let it melt down. We're making our gravy here. Once that butter melt down, yes, have a party while you're cooking. <laughs> Honey, once that butter melt down, child, we're going to add some flour to it. A quarter cup of flour with that as well. And we're going to cook that flour for about a minute so that flour can cook out. I want it to get a brown instead of blonde right now. We're gonna cook it down to a brown so we can have brown gravy. See, you see it change colors. Yes, child. After that, we're gonna add four cups of that stock that I poured off from the neck bones. Yes, you're gonna use that stock. Remember, all that flavor from the bones is in that stock. All four cups. Stir it in there, child. Stir it on in there. Child. Now we're going to taste to see where our flavors are. I'm going to add some garlic powder and onion powder in there, child. I'm going to add some salt-free seasoning. Yes, child. Then I'm going to put a little parsley in there, dry parsley in there. Oh, yes. We just want this gravy to slightly thicken. You see that right there? And we're going to let that gravy slightly thicken. I'm tasting it again. Yes, <laughs> make you do the June bug, child. <laughs> Slide that pot back over, honey, and then we're going to pour that gravy over them neck bones, child. Just like that. And we're going to continue to cook it a little bit more, and that gravy going to get a little bit thicker, okay? Child, I'm telling you, neck bones is a cheap cut of meat. Big Mom and them used to cook it, honey, because you can get a lot of neck bones and feed a lot of people for not a lot of money. And so, honey, that's what we had. And so, that's it right there, honey. I hope this recipe helped.